good morning i hope you're all doing fine hi good morning achieve thank you for joining on time with let with let uh wizard epilepsy tz karibu um Hi, Chief. I'm trying to add you. Let me invite you. Hey, hey nice Hello. to see Hello. you. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Okay. I have met a gem, so I had to. Okay. I had to start somewhere. So. Oh, Pole. Yeah. Asante, Asante. But uh, good, good. Um, so today, like we spoke. We are talking about the gig economy. Um, I'm a consultant. You're a consultant, and yeah. uh, we all want to invest. We all want to make money, and some of us are um, employed. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to go bilingual, Kiswahili, no. English, and all the languages to enjoy. Um, some of us are employed, and we have side hustles, right? We, we want to make money. We want to invest. Some of us have businesses as entrepreneurs. Uh, some days you make money, some days you don't make money. Yeah. So how do I invest? Where do I invest? What are the things that I should do so that I can become uh, an investor or I can put my money where it will bring money back? And I know most people, um, we believe uh, businesses are investing, but then they are time. Uh, there are times when it, it's not it's not clicking. It's not uh, working. Yes, it will be saved. Uh, um, serenity. So some of us, we have that money that is coming in now. Our businesses are doing very well, and then. At some point, the, the business is not relevant enough, so we are out of business. What is happening? Where do we make more money from? Like, that is what I would like us to to speak on and see how we can, you can help us as uh, consultants, as gig people. Yeah. Let's start there. Uh, introduce oh. yourself, please, and what okay. you do and what you have experienced. And I love your theme for this year. Okay. So please tell us about it. Thank you. Uh, my name, thank you so much, Coach Gloria. In fact, I'm very much honored to be the first speaker to come in the Maokoto segment. And I'm oh. very happy. I, I'm praying that it's a segment that will be blessed. People will get to understand things. People will get the financial breakthrough. They will know how to plan their money. They will know how to take charge. People will be successful because when your personal finance is good, you will be at peace and then you will think forward and even your business finances are going to be good. So uh, my name is CPA Amina Ramadhani Haigai. I am the founder and the CEO of a financial institution or company called Achieve Finance Tanzania Limited and where I also serve as the financial educator and coach in my company where I train people on how they are going to make money, keep money, grow money, uh, protect their money, get their money and also enjoy their money. Coach, we have to enjoy our money. Our time is not exactly. as so much in this world. So we also have to save but you're going also to enjoy our money. Yes, so yes. when I was told about this topic uh, called um, how can people with inconsistent income be able to save and invest, I thought it's very relevant to us because it's the new normal. It's the new normal. Even employment itself nowadays is not secure. One time I might be employed, the next time I'm told, go home, we are restructuring, we are retrenching, we are doing a lot of things, go home. So life after COVID-19 has taught us that it's the new normal. There's no safety. Safety is only when maybe you have your own business. But also we know business comes with a lot, a lot of challenges. But to start with, what is a consistent income? Inconsistent income. What is inconsistent income? They say it's that income that is not fixed in terms of money, the amount, but also in terms of timings. You are not sure. It's not like every 25th of every month. 
It's not like every 30th of every month. It's so inconsistent. It's so unfixed in terms of the timings and the amount of money that you're going to get. And as you had said in your in your poster, it's for people like you said the gig economy. We have artists. We have uh, we have uh, business people. We have those people who rely heavily on commission and tips. But we also have. Uh, a lot of other things that people don't really have uh, a type of income that is so certain in timings and amount but i will surprise you okay okay maybe i will say that in my point so let's start there how am i going to be able to save and then to go and invest and do all that i will want to say that saving and investing is an outcome of so many other things and these things include how well do you manage even your daily expenditures how do you carry yourself financially how is your um, financial plan like you see for you to be able to go to the saving and investing so i said to start with i'm going to give you tips on the general uh financial well-being because we we, we want to uh, believe that when you are overall well with your finances then saving is not going to be an hassle mm -hmm. so the first thing that i want us to discuss is know your income know your income understand your income very well get to know what type of employment am i in is it permanent and pensionable is it contract based is it a business and when you you, you get to understand your income you will also know how am i paid am i paid daily am i paid weekly is it bi-weekly that's like like two weeks or is it monthly or even my month goes to the to the 40 until the 10th day of the other month you know it's not 30 days it's 40 days so yeah. you really have to understand because it's from the point of understanding your income that everything else will follow because you will plan according mm -hmm. you will structure your life you will even structure your saving habits according to when your money is coming in there's a young man I met the other time near my office. They know I do these things. Do you know me when I walk on the street and then I find people? You know what I mean? I tell people, wait, I tell you. I, I teach people about finance. Do you know how to save? I just talk to people randomly. So I just meet a group of wow. young boys seated somewhere and then I started telling them. I showed them my account. I told them instead of just watching Asen or Simba and Yanga all the time, I'm sorry to the sports people, but it cannot be all the time. So some other times, take a break, eh? and then mm -hmm. learn how you can invest how you can buy units how you can do all this so that guy one day because now they know i do it just told me madam sorry i want you to help me plan my income i'm paid thirty thousand per day mm -hmm. this guy is being paid thirty thousand wow. Tanzanian okay. shillings per day there are mm -hmm. those people who supply foods on mm -hmm. on wheels you know, when you put an yeah, order, maybe yeah. at KFC or Mary Brown, and then they are told, take this mm -hmm. to Masaki, take this to Sinza. So they supply food. So they are paid on a daily basis. Now, mm -hmm. it will not be one for this young man to wait until the end of the month to have his pl plans in, in shape. Because, because even on 20, or on, on 30th, when oh, me, I'm receiving my salary, he's going to be receiving his daily income. That's 30,000. Yeah. So if you are mm -hmm. waiting for the end of the month, these other 30,000s, where have they gone? What are the mm -hmm. plans for this other? So you mm -hmm. have to have the plans daily. Even if savings will mean only saving 5,000, it's okay. Save it daily. Mm -hmm. And then now when it accumulates to a bigger amount at the end of the month, then take it to wherever you want to take. Go and buy shares, go and buy UTT, go and do all, all what you want. But now understanding our, even our timings of payment really helps us to know how to structure our plans financially. Mm -hmm. And having said that, I want to show you an example of someone who was not smart enough to understand their payment mm -hmm. and then he messed around and then thought maybe it will always be like that and that thing is not from even me it's from jammy forums and mm -hmm. i'm actually reading a post from jammy forum okay and someone said naomba ushauri you see and then akasema nilichezea mshahara mkubwa sasa hivi umaskini nilio utoroka umerudi kwa kasi yeah, yeah? Anasema, yeah. mwezi juni mm. 2023, nilipata mm. kazi huko kigoma. Nikilipo mm. mshahara, nalipo bonus, mm. na madili 
nilikuwa mm. naingiza takribani milioni kumi kwa mwezi yes nilikuwa naingiza takribani milioni kumi na, kwa mwezi mm. inayotokana na mshahara bonasi mm. na madili alafu mm. nilipewa mkataba pale wa miezi oh. sita maana yeah. mradi it was project mm. maana mm. mradi ulikuwa unakaribia kuisha na tayari mkataba wangu umeisha januari hii ya 2024 mm. and then mm. Mm. kinachoniuma katika kipindi hiki sijafanya cha maana zaidi ya kununua gari na eneo la heka tano huko Morogoro and then nilibadilisha lifestyle mm. nikawa naishi kama bilionea yeah. kila weekend napanda ndege naenda da kutoka Kigoma kusalimia ndugu sasa <laughs> basi ameishia hapo sasa mm. anaomba ushauri kumbe anasema tukirudi kwenye yeah. slide ya tatu mm. kwamba nilipewa mkataba wa miezi sita kwa mm. Gloria huyu mtu alikuwa anajua mkataba ni wa miezi mingapi miezi sita, sita. Yeah. Baada ya miezi sita you are back to no income. Yes. Unapandaje ndege kila weekend kuja Dar es Salaam kusalimia familia? <laughs> Wewe ni mama unanyonyesha kwa sababu inaonekana ni mwanaume. Wewe hata exactly. hauna mtoto. Na hata ningekuwa yeah. mama ningechukua kichanga changu tukahamia wapi Kigoma. Ni heri nika rent nyumba ndogo Kigoma nikakaa kwa miezi sita kwa it's only six months. Mm. Kwa hiyo kama alikuwa analipwa milioni kumi, huyu mtu alikuwa na milioni sitini mm. by the end of six months. True true. True. Lakini kwa sababu hakuelewa mm. aina yake ya kipato wala hakuheshimu yeah. kwa kujua kwamba mimi ni consultant wa muda mfupi baada ya hapo sitakuwa na hichi kipato. Mm. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi wakati ni nacho ni muda mwafaka wa kukipangilia, mm. wa kukibudget ili kuzidi yeah. hiyo miezi sita from January mwaka huu sasa ambako nitakuwa sina mkataba niendelee mm. kuwa na pesa. Huyo yes. mtu katika milioni sitini hata ange ndio kuwekeza let's say angenunua ta shares za milioni 30 mm-hmm. akabaki na 30 huyu mtu gawio lake sio dogo ah well, uh, lingiza mm. ninachotaka na, kurudia ni hapo kwenye uh, area ya ku change lifestyle mm-hmm. i want you to emphasize on that the change mm. in lifestyle and how in a vo affect um, finances is na the future of your finances as a consultant please mm-hmm. a little bit on that oh. yes okay sasa na, na ye mwenyewe uzuri kwa sababu kama ange ange kama ange explain haya mambo bila kutuambia kwamba uh, nilibadili lifestyle tungemuuliza ulifanyaje na hizo hela lakini exactly. uzuri ametuambia mwenyewe kwamba nilifanya nini nilibadilisha lifestyle mm-hmm. anasema mm-hmm. kama bisa alikuwa anakuja Dar es Salaam kila mwezi coach mm. Mm. unaweza ukakaa miezi sita ujaona familia exactly. kwa sababu watu wana, watu wanaenda kusoma uh. nje ya nchi wanaacha <laughs> anamwacha mwanamke ana mimba paka exactly. mwanamke anajifungua hajawahi hata mm. kumuona mtoto wake la kumbeba anaonyesha tu kwenye picha lakini mm. people si wana target mm. It was yeah. only for six months. It was only for six months. Hata kama angesema anakuja mara mbili na hiyo ndege of course Kigoma ni mbali. I understand. Yeah. Aje mara mbili lakini pia afanye ujanja abook mapema. Unajua ni vitu vidogo vidogo coach vinatokolea yeah. hela. Mimi leo kama nina safari ya mwezi wa nne, nikibook yeah. leo e ya Tanzania mm-hmm. napata nusu ya pesa. Yaani nalipa kidogo. Na kwa sababu unajua nitakuja kusafiri miezi miwili book mapema lakini naonekana huyu kama ni kila mwezi huyu alikuwa anasema nibadilishie yani anapiga saa tatu na safari saa nne. Utaambiwa laki sita, yeah. when return. Laki sita yeah. kila mwezi unaona eh? Kwa hiyo yeah. angeweza ku ikubalisha lifestyle msema kama ame alikuwa anakuja mpaka Dar es Salaam amenunua mm. gari gari la nini na wakati upo mkoani coach upo Kigoma fuleni itoke wapi Kigoma fuleni itoke yani una, unaamka saa moja paka saa mbili na da, saa moja dakika 40 umeoga 20 minutes unafika tena kwa kutembea if you so mm. yes yeah. na kama sasa kutembea unakuwa na bajaji wako if you know mimi huwa nasafiri kwenda Arusha kikazi mm. na of course nimeacha gari Dar es Salaam nimelipiwa tiketi ya ndege na serikali nimeenda kazini nimerudi sasa nikiwa kule Arusha wakati mwingine sina transport mm. what i do huwa huwa nakuwa na bajaji wangu. Hivi mm. unajua coach unaweza ukanakuta Dodoma mimi nimepanda boda boda. Eh ndo maraka. 
Nikichukua mm. taxi pale airport mm. is very expensive. Mm. Yes. Kwa hiyo wakati mwingine navuta na begi langu mm. natembea na ni pale riparefu ile barabara ya pale natembea mm. mpaka I, I know it. <laughs> au naenda kuchukua boda boda. I, Sasa yeah. ni kwa mfano kwa mfano Arusha ninavyosafiri unamwambia una mtu njoo nifate hotelini anakupeleka kwenye mkutano ambao ni hoteli nyingine unashangaa bei ya juu kabisa na ni mbali anakuambia mm. shilingi mbili lakini mara nyingi nakuaga ni shilingi moja kwa hiyo yeah. transport transport mm. mikoani ni very cheap huyu jamaa hakuhitaji kabisa kuwa na gari exactly exactly kwa sababu anajua kwamba baadaye na uzuri ni kwamba ali sign contract kwa hiyo haikuwa surprise alikuwa anajua after six months mimi nitakuwa sina ika milioni kumi sasa hivi kwa hiyo ani sio vizuri sio vizuri kabisa kwa sababu kama uh, kuna mtu anasema hapa kwamba uh, pal, uh, pal someone anasema kwamba jua lake lakini malengo okay huyu mtu inaonekana kabisa hakuwa na malengo and that's why anakuja kuomba ushauri huku jamii forums kwa sababu yamemfika hapa anasema ule umaskini aliyokuwa na utoroka umerudi kwa kasi kwa hiyo unaonekana huyu mtu apart from lile gari na ile kiwanja asset kwanza gari sio asset gari ni la hicho kiwanja peke yake ndo asset na ina take process kukibadilisha kuwa cash ili aweze kuwa na liquidity maana sasa hivi inaonekana liquidity ndo shida yake kubwa kwa hiyo hakuna sababu ya ya kwenda kubadilisha lifestyle coach bila ya wewe uh, ku unajua tusibadilishie lifestyle kwa kutumia mbegu mimi huwa naiita mbegu unajua want the, people want to change their lifestyle and finance their lifestyle kutokana na mbegu hiyo itakuwa ni kosa kwa sababu mbegu nenda kaipande alafu mbegu ikikua mbegu itakavyokuwa inakulipa pesa zinazotokana na hiyo mbegu ndio uende ukafanye lifestyle ambayo unayo au unayoitaka actually itakuwa da hauna lakini ndio hiyo ambayo unaitaka ndio maana nikasema kwa mfano huyu mtu angejitahidi akawekeza milioni 30 hata kama kwa mfano angeenda UTT mfuko wa bond fund akaenda akawekeza angekuwa anapata almost above 10% kila mwezi ana i mean 1% yani 10% per year 1% per month ya hiyo pesa angalau angekuwa anapata laki tatu ambaye ni sawa sawa na mshahara mwingine wa mtu watu wangapi tunawajua analikuwa chini ya kima cha chini kima cha chini ukipata laki tatu ya good off lakini huyu mtu amezila piu ndo maana anasema angeenda kuzitumia zile kama mbegu aziweke mahali alafu zizae zikizaa yale mazao yatakayozaliwa ndo aende akatumie kwenda kufanya anasa lakini sio ile mbegu hasa huyu jamaa amekula mpaka mbegu kwa hiyo msimu huu sasa hana cha kupanda hana cha kupanda tena lakini tuki, tukitoka hapo kwa hiyo point ya ku understand your income and type of your income tunakuja kwamba sasa nenda kapangilie mipango yako i reflect kipato chako tumesema kipato chako ya kina uhakika kipato chako wewe ni cha msimu kuna msimu unapata sana alafu kuna msimu unarudi chini kabisa unakuwa haupati sasa uki, pale kwenye ku, kwenye pia pale kwenye kufahamu kuhusu kipato chako ni lazima tufahamu ile baseline kwamba japokuwa napata kipato cha chini akipo sawa yani kinapanda kinashuka lakini najua kuna ile minimum ambayo lazima naipata mwisho yani katika kipindi cha, mw, cha mwezi naipata na ambayo hata piga huwa garagaza kile lazima nikipate kwa sababu ile ndio baseline yani hata kama hali iwe mbaya vipi au mapato yawe very inconsistent kwa kiasi gani lakini i'm sure that base income mimi naipata unaona eh sasa kama ile base income ukishaijua kuna yale matumizi yako ya lazima kwa sababu lazima utapanga nyumba lazima utakula lazima uta move from point A to point B kwa hiyo ile base income ambayo ndo, ndo the bare minimum iwe itakavyokuwa hiyo nenda kaitumie kwa ajili ya kufanya matumizi yale ya lazima ambayo ni lazima ufanye kwa sababu otherwise utatupiwa vitu nje utakuwa huna pa kuishi kwa hiyo katika we kusumbuka kukielewa kipato chako utaweza kujua na utapiga hesabu chache hapo utagundua kwamba base income yako ni nini alafu hiyo base income nenda kaifanyie base expenditure zile ambazo huwezi kuishi bila alafu tukitoka hapo ndo maana tukasema kwamba Uh, ukimaliza hapo itabidi uende sasa ukapangilie mipango yako ya fedha iendane na uhalisia wa kipato chako 
I don't have okay. any other income coming mm. in at all, ni zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If that is the case, then, yeah. in a man, mm. na kwamba, <laughs> na kubuka kukura mtu anaitua Les Brown, ashe kusema, mm. in life, mm. we have high mm. and we have low. Tuna yeah. high na tuna low. Lakini, mm. even in your lows, mm. you can have a high low. You can have your high lows, even in your lows. You can have a high low. Kwa hiyo, tunasema kwamba, wakati unalipwa kubwa milioni kumi, then ni wewe ku make sure kwamba unaitumia for the rainy days for the rainy days na inawezekana hiyo milioni kumi, let's say uka, wakati mwingine hizi uh, inconsistent income inawezekana hata kwa kipindi cha miezi mitatu ukapata mapato mazuri ukapata client huyu ukamhudumia akaridhika akakuletea client wa pili wa pili naye akakuletea watatu alafu wakakata lakini kwa hiyo miezi mitatu ulikuwa unalipwa vizuri ndio ile kwamba tengeneza emergency fund kwamba it will not be like this january to december kwa hiyo mimi wakati huu ninayo nitaishi kama kuna miezi inakuja ambayo sitakuwa na hela kwa hiyo iweke akiba ambayo iwe akiba itakuja kuwa source ya matumizi kwako wakati ambao una nini hautakuwa na hiyo hela kwa sababu tukisema uende ukawekeze yote haitakuwa sawa kwa sababu kuna uwekezaji ambao unachukua muda kabla ya ujaiva ili uwazi kukupatia magawio. Kwa hiyo inaonekana inatakiwa wakati ambako unalipwa pesa nyingi, hiyo pesa igawe, ya passion kwamba hii hapa naenda kuweka kwenye akiba ambayo nitakuwa naweza kuiaccess wakati sina income. Alafu hii nyingine naenda kuwekeza ili kusudi niendelee kuwekeza niwekeze ifike level ambayo inaweza sasa kunilipa mimi uh, gawio likanisaidia katika matumizi yangu. Ukao una create um source of income unaweza ukaamua uka, 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 uka katika zile akiba zako wakati unalipwa juu malipo yako makubwa unawateja wameambiana wamekuja imekuja group la wateja pale chukua hiyo hela ikusanye ifike hata milioni tano mathala au hata ifike milioni kumi, alafu kanunue bond ukinunua bond manake watakuwa wanakulipa pesa mara mbili katika mwaka Asa wakati unalipwa pengine wakati unalipwa for the first time in the year ndo wakati ambao upo low una income and then bond itakupatia interest na ndio hiyo ambayo itakusaidia kuishi. Mimi nishawahi kuwa na mgeni kijana kwenye vipindi vyetu vya achieve na kama bado hauja to follow naomba uende ka to tupo Instagram tunaitwa achieve finance lakini pia tuko YouTube tunaweka content kule na hiyo content ipo. Kuna kijana ongea naye uh, ni kijana ambaye naye yupo kwa consistent type of income eh? ni mtu ambaye amesomea sana ni mjuzi sana wa masuala ya hoteli au ni semi hospitality industry kwa hiyo hajaajiriwa na hoteli moja lakini anakuwa anatoa consultant services kwa mahoteli mengi Dar es Salaam Moshi Arusha na Zanzibar Ana, anakuwa anawafundisha ku, ku, kufanya customer services zao ziwe nzuri huduma ziwe nzuri ili kusudi waweze kupata nini waweze kupata wateja kwa hiyo anazunguka zunguka mara yuko Zanzibar yuko Moshi ameenda kwenye hoteli fulani kuwasaidia kujenga uwezo kwa ajili ya wafanyakazi wao Asa wakati naongea naye nikamwona Lakini sikuona ametaja ametaja kodi. Ikabidi nimuulize, "Kwa nini unaishi nyumbani? Unaishi kwenu?" Akasema, "No, mimi kodi yangu siiweki kwenye matumizi ya kila mwezi kwa sababu mi kodi yangu inalipwa na dawio." Huyo kijana ameinvest kwenye shares. Ni, ni kijana ambaye bado yuko single lakini amejielewa anafanya makontrakt na mahoteli analipwa mpaka hmm. mpaka ma, ma four stars five stars yeah. kwa hiyo kila anavolipwa yeye anaweka shares shares kwa hiyo yeah. amefika kiwango ambacho shares zake yeye ndo zinalipa kodi ya nyuma kwa hiyo wow. kwenye mpango wake wa matumizi wa mwezi yeye haweki kodi kwa sababu kodi is well taken care na kitu kingine. Kwa hiyo wewe unaweza ukafanya hivyo alafu ukasema mimi wakati ambao nitakuwa sina wateja nina uwekezaji wangu wa hisa utakuwa unalipa mimi mm. leo. Na uwekezaji yeah. wangu mimi kwenye UTT bond fund itakuwa inanilipa mm. kila mwezi. Malipo yeah. ya bond fund nitakuwa na ndo naishi nayo. Kwa hiyo ni wewe yeah. kuamua kuji wakati unalipo sasa usioni kwamba ndo muda wa kwenda kutumia vibaya 
yes. unasahau kwamba kama mjamaa hapa alisahau kwamba mimi kuna kipindi contact ni ya miezi sita kuna kipindi nitakuwa jobless si kwa nini alisahau okay mungu i don't know i'm trying to understand <laughs> mimi siwezi kusahau yani siyo alisahau vipi kwamba after six months atakuwa mm. hana lakini yeah. akaenda akatumia just imagine milioni 60 ndani ya mwezi a lot of money pata mtu kama mimi unajua yes. sisi ambao ndo tupo ingetupata <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu currently tunaweza mm. kufanya haya tunao yafanya na mishahara ya kawaida ya serikali wengine kampani binafsi lakini ambao wanalipa kidogo but we are still mm. doing our best can you yeah. imagine getting an employer who pays you 10 million per month wewe ungefanya mangapi issue ni kwamba mtu anakataa kujinyima sasa anabadilisha anafanya drastic change of lifestyle ambayo mm. drastic change of lifestyle inaenda ku consume kila kitu kwa hiyo at the end of the day ni kama bado analipo tu ile ela ndogo ukijaribu kuangalia right. kwa sababu mm. gari mm. mafuta view outing tunyo na marafiki kuweka heshima basi tu nini vinachukua mm. kila kitu kiasi kwamba hawezi ku save wala hawezi kufanya nini hawezi kuweka akiba kwa mwisho siku anaingia tu kwenye matatizo i hope tunaenda sawa well, coach that is- Uko sawa. Ninachojifunza hapa cha kwanza ni kwamba mm. uh, the frugal living, yani living below your means. Like your your that is one of the things ambazo nimeona kwamba kwa kwa consultants au kwa watu ambao wana income ambayo ni not stable ni kuwa very frugal. Yani sio lazima watu waone ume, um, unapata hela nyingi sasa hivi. Sio lazima ionekane I, I, because you already know ni mood contract yako ni ya muda mfupi so it can end any day so ishi below your means frugal mm. living it's one of the things ambazo ni from your conversation ni kwamba angalia ni life gani ambayo unataka uko mbele ili uweze kukua sasa hivi uishi below that kind of lifestyle lifestyle ni nimekuwa kuelewa sawa sawa eh kabisa kabisa coach kabisa so, kabisa. Na 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 hiyo hiyo point umeisema kwamba ni kwa watu ambao wana inconsistent income. Hapana. Kila mwenye income duniani anatakiwa aishi chini ya kile kipato kipato regardless ni consistent ama ni inconsistent. Any any principle ya kawaida. Hata hata any hata walofanikiwa you can there's no way matumizi yako yawe sawa na kipato haiwezekani kwa sababu the end of the day utakuwa na Tunasema utakuwa ume break even lakini ku break even is not a good thing lazima uishi chini kidogo ya kile ambacho unakipata and it's funny enough nakumbuka kuna siku nilienda kufundisha watoto kwa sababu pia huwa nafundisha watoto masuala ya finance hata huwa anapenda kuwapatia kuwapatia exercises za kufanya nakumbuka niliwapa budget sheet kuna karatasi nilikuwa nimeandaa nika nikawaambia assume mama amekupatia umefanya kitu kizuri mama amekupatia bonus dadi amekupatia a lot of pocket, uh, some a bit of pocket money hebu anza kupangia budget nilipata watoto wa aina tatu ambao nikasema hawa watoto wasipowekwa sawa sasa hivi ndo wataenda kuwa watu wazima wa aina tatu kwa sababu hata sisi ni matokeo ya huko tulikotoka kwa sababu wanasema masuala ya usimamizi wa fedha ni 20% elimu lakini ni 80% behavior kwa hiyo tabia zetu sisi individual behavior zetu ndo zinafanya mpaka tumekuwa ma adult ambao kama huyu tuliyomsoma kwenye jamii forum mtoto wa kwanza alitumia kipato chote kama alichopewa bila kupunguza wala kuzidisha Nakumbuka alikuwa na kama 20 au 30 alijikadiria na yote kaisha kwa matumizi tu ya kawaida. And then kuna mtoto mwingine ambaye yeye alitumia uh, alitumia chini kidogo. Ilikuwa ni 1900 na nadhani alijikadiria kama mapato afu nikaambia jikadiria na matumizi. Then alibakiza 1000 na akaandika pale savings. Kwa hiyo huyu kaishi chini ya, ya kipato chake na ameweza kubakiwa na shilingi 1000 ya kwenda kusave. Lakini kuna mtoto wa mwisho alikuwa mvulana tulicheka sana. Yeye akasema akajikadiria income ni 1900 kamili kabisa. Alafu matumizi ni laki mbili na kumi. Yaani mimi nilivyosoma nilicheka nikamwambia sawa mdogo wangu we una 1900 unaenda kutumia laki mbili na kumi umepata wapi hiyo the difference nikaa jaribu kumoja umepata wapi anacheka tu lakini nikamwambia sana ukija kwa mtu mzima na hiyo mentality ina maana ile difference ya laki mbili na kumi na 1900 ndo tunachukua mikopo kwa sababu mimi I want to please the society. Nataka ni post Insta nimeenda Dubai, niko kule kwenye desert kule. What do I do? Everybody on Christmas is posting, mimi is posting kwa sababu gani? Ndio unaenda kukopa sasa ili niweze kufinance dini hiyo lifestyle. Kwa hiyo unaona ni gani kwa mtoto? 
tunakuja na hizo mentality kwa hiyo usiposaidia tu tunakuja kwa watu wazima kama sisi ndio maana nasema kuishi below your income ni lazima kwa kila mwanadamu ili kusudi upate ya kubakiza uweze kwenda kuweka akiba na uweze kwenda kufanya uwekezaji thank you eh ulimbishia sasa gasto na gasto gasti na nasema ulimbishia <laughs> so Jackie Jackie Jamek anasema anataka masomo kuhusu uh, hisa please go kwenye page ya uh, achieve finance tz atakupa explicitly uh, masomo kuhusu shares and yeah. he's available very enthusiastic a lot of content there kwa hiyo usiache mm-hmm. kwenda kwenye that page uh, to learn for yourself mhm yes, tuendelee um, tuendelee oh, tuendelee okay. Na tukasema I hope I hope you guys were taking notes eh I hope umeandika niko number 3 sio number 4 lakini nyingine ni kusema kwamba ya to take wanasema find consistency in the irregularity japo vipato vyetu vinaenda hivi lakini just let's let's have consistency umo umo ndani ya kuto kueleweka tujaribu tu kuwa na consistency usijiambie tu bwana hata Mungu anajua mimi nalipo vitu vieleweki a a anajua lakini anataka aone unawezaje kusimamia maybe there's a, a good job that is coming your way that maybe will have some consistent income au nini au kuna client anakuja na project kubwa atakupatia lakini in the meantime tujaribu kutafuta consistency kama umesema mimi nita save 20% ya kila kipato ninachokipata hata ukipata 2020 calculate calculator haijawahi kushindwa ku calculate haijawahi itakupatia figures chukua 20% multiply na 2020 utapata ile amount. Chukua 20% kama ndio umejikadiria. Umeji 20% multiply labda na 10 umepata utapata the amount. Lakini hata siku atakulipa client milioni 30, unaenda unakuta inasoma kwenye account yako credit ya amount pale, account paka ina vibrate. Chukua 20% ya, ya milioni 30, utapata. Kwa hiyo just be consistent kwa kile kidogo. Kwa sababu lengo tunataka kwamba uanze kujitrain. Kwa sababu tunataka uwekaji wa akiba na kufanya investment iwe almost like second nature hakuna ila unayotumia una, unakuwa unisahau kwamba no 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 i have an emergency plan i'm working on i have a retirement plan i'm trying to put here i have this i want to put kwa hiyo hata akili behavior ikukumbushe kwamba usile kwanza kuna 20% ya kuweka pembeni hilo ndo lengo kwa hiyo please find in consistent japo kwa your income is inconsistent lakini you find consistent umo umo ndani ya inconsistency alafu utajikuta kidogo kidogo unakuza uh, unakuza akiba yako na uwekezaji kuna video pia iko kwenye YouTube channel yetu niliwaambia watu tusidharau pesa ndogo ndogo that's the problem tunadharau sana 5000 na 10000 tuna, tunasema mpaka nishike milioni ndio nitasave mimi na a a tusidharau fedha ndogo ndogo tusidharau zina nguvu sana kama zitawekwa over a long period of time sawa eh and ne, then kingine um, at least at least kwa consistency usikimbie sana hapo uh, any pana issue kwenye consistency <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. how how uh, i know msema kwamba i i set aside labda your 20% that is what i'm running with that is consistently what i need to be doing lakini mm-hmm. nahisi kuna 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 breakdown nimepata nimepata hela za chap chap yani kuna zile hela tunasemaga siju hazina hazina mahali pa kwenda yani Mm, ni kind of, yeah. njia kind of um, ni pesa ambayo labda you have not put in the work uh, a lot lakini ume, ume nimepewa zawadi nimepewa bonus ghafla ofisini ne, nimepewa ndugu yangu ameamua kunipa a certain amount of money how yani alafu pia umeongelea 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 vitu vingi kwamba siju ni na emergency siju ni na nini yani mtu ambaye ana ndo kwanza anafikiria kwamba ni niweke wapi pesa uh, how do i separate my money hiyo 20% naiweka wapi yani yeah how do okay. i become consistent and where do i put that money that 20% mm. ah, okay kwanza kwanza the 20% Uh, iko universal kwa sababu kuna ile budget rule ambayo inasema 50 30 20 hasa ile iko duniani kwa kila mtu it's a universal budget rule for anyone lakini uh, ambayo inasema kwamba 50% ni matumizi ya lazima ambayo tunasema ni zile 
ni zile want ni zile needs your needs zile ambazo huwezi kuishi bila alafu 30% ndo matumizi ya want yale matumizi ambayo sio ya lazima sio matumizi ya lazima kabisa you can do without kwa sababu kwenye matumizi ya lazima you cannot do without food kuna kodi kuna ada za watoto alafu 20% ndo wanashauri kwenye ile budget rule ya dunia universal rule kwamba 20% uende ukaweke kwenye savings uende ukaweke kwenye uwekezaji na uende ukalipe madeni kuna watu wana madeni wana msigo wa madeni ndio uende ukatumie lakini mimi personally huwa naona hiyo sati kwa ajili ya yale mambo ambayo sio ya lazima mbona kama ni kubwa sana huwa natamani kufanya vice versa kwamba yale ma, yale matumizi ambayo sio ya lazima na hapa 20 ifati ndio iende kwenye kwenye matumizi ya lazima na ndio huwa nawaambia watu hiyo budget rule itumie kama muongozo lakini kaa chini tafakari maisha yako jiulize kwa sasa mimi na shida ya nini kipaumbele changu cha matumizi ni nini vipaumbele vya matumizi kwa mwaka au kwa vipindi fulani fulani alafu nenda ka customize ile budget rule iwe inaongea lugha moja na uhalisia wa maisha yako na mara nyingi hapa kwa hiyo anapenda kutoa mfano wa Peter Msechu. Yule msanii Peter Msechu anasema kwamba kwa kipindi cha miaka nane ambayo amekuwa akijenga nyumba yake japokuwa mwijia kuwa anamtania anamwambia amejenga kwa muda wa miaka 24 lakini yeye anasemaga amejenga kwa muda wa miaka nane wakati anaposta nyumba yake anatuhadithia alivyoweza na mambo kama hayo alisema ye budget rule alokuwa anatumia ni 50 50 kwa sababu kipindi kile focus ya Peter attention ya Peter maisha ya pita yalikuwa yamekuwa directed kwenye ujenzi wa nyumba kwa sababu sababu babake alikuwa anamsii sana mwanangu usikubali kupanga kila siku wasanii nyie uwaga mjengi sio amfanye nini kwa hiyo focus nzima ya pita ilikuwa ni nyumba tu kwa hiyo alichokifanya yeye alienda tu kwa 50 by 50 hakuwa na 50 30 21 10 ah ah yeye alikuwa na 50 by 50 kwamba kila kipato ninachokipata asilimia msini tutakula ndo matumizi ya lazima na ada na kila kitu hii asilimia msini inaenda kwenye nyumba non negotiable iwake jua linyeshe mvu hakuna. Kwa hiyo yeye alicustomize. Kwa hiyo hata wewe ndugu yangu unayetufuatilia, hebu kakae chini. Angalia 50 30 20 inakufaa. Haikufai badilisha play around. Kama unataka 60 40, unataka 70 30, wewe unajua una shida ya nini? What is pressing your life? Unataka kuona nini kimekuwa kweli? Alafu baada ya hapo kuna njia nyingi sana za kuweka akiba. Nyingi mno. In fact leo si kwa mimi na darasa nitakuwa nafundisha watu kuhusu UTT. Jinsi ya kufunga mwaka, tunafungaje mwaka? How you closing January big? Inawezekana kuna mtu hajasave hata shilingi 10 mpaka January hii inaondoka. Kwa hiyo kwenye ile lengo lako la mwaka tayari mwaka mwezi mmoja ushaondoka, una miezi 11 ujue. Kwa hiyo kama unataka kuelewa hizi vehicles mbalimbali, naomba utu, utu follow alafu ni DM. Unaweza kani DM pale, niambie madam nataka kuingia kwenye darasa la leo au namba yangu ya simu ni 0753 82074. Ya kwanza unaweza ukaenda kuweka kwenye mucho funds. Ndio tunasema uwekezaji wa pamoja. Ambako huko ndani kuna UTT na kuna faida fund. Faida fund iko chini ya Tanzania ya Watumishi Investment um, Watumishi Housing Investment WHI alafu uh, UTT ipo ndani ya UTT wenyewe ambao zote ni mali ya serikali kama UTT iko chini ya Wizara ya Fedha. Lakini kama sio uwekezaji wa pamoja unaweza kwenda kuweka kwenye hisa. Ukanunua hisa. Currently mimi nanunua hisa kila tena mimi nimejiwekea kila Jumanne kila Jumanne ni siku ya kununua actually sisi kwenye achieve finance kama ile team ya achieve tunasema kwamba we, we, we are not doing what we, yani we, we don't preach water and then we are drinking wine tuna kile tunachoambia watu wafanye sisi tunakifanya kwa hiyo mimi na na hiyo na haijalishi uwezo kaamini coach kuna siku na nunuaga hisa za 30 kwa sababu mimi lengo langu ni kujenga tabia Nataka kujenga tabia. Hiyo volume of money itakuja tu, lakini najenga tabia. Kwa hiyo unataka kujua namna gani ya kununua hisa pia unaweza kutafuta, lakini hisa ni njia nyingine. Lakini unaweza kununua hati fungani. Hati ndo tunasema zile bonds za serikali. Tena ukienda kwenye website ya BOT, kuna mkeka mzima mpaka na tarehe ambazo watakuwa wanafanya mnada wa hizo hizo bonds. Kwa hiyo nenda pale kaangalie, mimi tarehe gani nitakuwa na hela? Wanauza mwezi wa tano hapa. Wanauza mwezi wa saba Basi ngoja jipange, wa tano sitakuwa na milioni kumi Huwa saba huu nitakuwa na kumi Jipange, kuna mkeka mzima upo pale kwenye BOT website. Lakini kama sio hivyo, kuna sacos 
Sacos mm. ni kwa ajili ya naona sana mataasisi ma, ma, ya umma ndio yanakuaga yana, yana, yana na sacos sana sijajua private sector lakini kwa mfano sisi taasisi za umma mimi mwenyewe niko kwenye sacos in fact sacos ndio sehemu ninawekeza sana kwa sababu nilianza muda mrefu kwa hiyo i have a lot of money there hiyo sacos ni kwa ajili ya wafanyakazi kwa hiyo unakuta kwa mfano TRA sacos ni wafanyakazi wa TRA tushai kuona ura ura sacos tumeshaona mpaka zile will cover zimeandikwa ura sacos ile ni, 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 ni sacos ya, ya usalama wa raia ni mapolisi I think my traffic and all that lakini kuna kuna tanesco kwa hiyo zipo za hizo mahali pa kazi lakini kuna sacos za kijamii kama Dar es Salaam tuna sacos inaitwa what what ni sacos ya, ya wakazi wote wa Dar es Salaam as long as unajua wewe unakaa Dar es Salaam unaruhusiwa kwa mwanachama na wako pale kinondoni nenda pale kwa waulize na anzaje kuweka akiba na nyinyi na anzaje kuweka amana na uzuri ni kwamba ukiweka pesa kule unakuja kuruhusiwa kukopa mara tatu ya ulicho nacho uzuri wa sacos riba ni nafu masharti pia ni nafu thank you sio hivyo pia kuna vikoba mwanzo katumia mm. vikoba kama una, unapenda vikoba mm. yes kama jana nimetafutwa na na mtu yuko Dodoma anasema kwamba yeye ni kama anapenda sana uwekezaji wa vikoba. Kwa hiyo ameanza kuwa kama mentor wa vikoba vya mkoa wa Dodoma. Lakini yeye mwenyewe anadhani ana, ana anahitaji mentor wa kumwambia namna gani asimamie na aendeshe vikoba. Vikoba is a movement jamani. Vikoba yeah. vinadumisha ndoa. Vikoba yeah. vinaongeza mahaba ukisimamia vizuri. <laughs> Kwa hiyo sasa ana, huwa anafanya hizo. Kwa hiyo ananiambia amenioomba niende nikampe nika, nika mentorship namna gani asimamie vikoba. Juzi yeye mm-hmm. alikuwa anasikiliza BOT wameshasajili vikoba 1045. Na wanataka mshuni mwa mwaka huu vifike laki moja. Kwa hiyo kama mm. BOT anatusajili, anasumbuka na sisi, ameelewa nguvu iliyopo kwenye vikoba. Kwa hiyo pia vikoba yeah. is another avenue unaweza ukatumia. Kwa hiyo I hope mm. coach nimekujibu baadhi ya style ambazo unaweza ukatumia. Ume, ume ni, Lakini pia account za benki zipo vizuri. Yeah. Account za benki pia zipo. Kuna malkia account, siju kuna saving account zipo. Zina encourage watu ku save kwa malengo. Kwa hiyo pia ni kutafuta taarifa. Kabla sijasahau kingine kuna bima coach kuna bima siku hizi watu wanashtuka ku, wana, wakumbuki kwamba bima sio tena ya kutoa tu bima ya magari si mm. full party mm. party ama comprehensive ili traffic mm. asikupige fine ya 30 mm. wamesha toka huko wanatoa bima mm. za magari lakini mm. wameenda fanta wanatoa mm. taka huduma za kuweka akiba na kufanya saving kuna life insurance mm. ambaye life insurance ndani yake kuna huduma kibao za kuweka akiba yeah. unaweza ukafungua mm. life insurance ikipita miaka kadhaa haujaondoka duniani bado uko hai unapewa pesa yako kwa sababu hujafa so lazima tu iwe kwa ajili ya watakao ya, ya, kutegemea baada ya wewe kufariki lakini pia kuna bima za elimu ya watoto mwana kufungua bima insurance pale kwa ajili ya education Una, unaanza kuchangia hata miezi sita ukipata ajali ukapata mm. ulemavu mwanao anasomeshwa mpaka mwisho na wewe umechangia tu miezi mitano au miezi minne kwa sababu uliingia mkataba na ulikuwa umeshaanza ku contribute ila watu ndo hatujui tutafute taarifa kwa hatuna mm. information <laughs> <laughs> kwa kweli nashukuru sana yani uh, nimependa ulipogusia kwenye kwenye hiyo kutengene, uh, kutengeneza habits kutengeneza mm-hmm. tabia as you know mimi focus yangu kubwa ipo kwenye kutengeneza habits ili yani naamini kwamba ukiwa na habits ikiwa ni kitu ambacho kiko naturally kina kinaokaa kwa kwa yani kitokea kumepokea mm-hmm. hela automatically unaanza kusema actually nilikutana na one of my mentors huyo ananiambia leo ni siku ya kununua hisa nimechelewa lakini nimenunua hisa kumi ni mtu ambaye ana hela nyingi sana lakini amenunua hisa kumi tu ilikuwa ni shilingi kama 4000 au 5000 kitu kama hicho 10000 kitu kama hicho only yani ile tu kwa sababu ili iendelee kubaki kwenye akili yake kwamba leo nimefanya kile kitu ambacho ninatakiwa kufanya so i love that umesema umeongelea kwamba kuwa uh, kwenye consistency kuwa na hiyo consistency and in inconsistency kwa hiyo hiyo mm. 5000 5000 10, 10, kuna several challenges ambazo zipo um, kwenye kwenye different pages ambazo wana share how to save labda kwa mwaka mzima kuna challenge siju mpaka za buku yes. buku mbili buku tatu mm-hmm. buku, yani it's endless 
the options are there lakini sisi hatujaweza kuzitumia vizuri and i'm going to use uh, this mokoto wednesday for that particular purpose ili tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba watu wote wanakuwa kwenye kwenye hiyo mindset ya kwamba i need to do something for myself yes. I've met business people ambao ni wakubwa lakini hana investment yoyote hana chochote ambacho kinaweza kusema kwamba kinaweza kikam support when things go bad in business so wengi wana wana investments pia ambazo ni um, not easily converted to money example kwa hiyo inakuwa ni bado maisha yanakuwa ni magumu wamenunua viwanja vingi lakini still bado hawezi ku return into money when they need the money when they need the cash and cash is king so i i really want to change that mindset as much as i work with entrepreneurs ni lazima pia waweze kufahamu personal finance so nitakuomba point yako ya mosho mm. we have 15 minutes i okay. thought one hour in ni nyingi <laughs> lakini naona uh, haitoshi okay. so we're mm. going to uh, to do this again definitely baka mm. umalizie pointa zako na na mimi tutavuna a lot a lot mm. of knowledge na tutapata mm. kitu cha kwenda kufanyia kazi kabisa last point mm. ya kwako ambayo ulikuwa umeandaa kwa mm. leo alafu mm. the rest tutazimalizia in the next okay. uh, wednesday okay a uh, kingine mbili lakini very short yeah. kingine kwamba chagua uwekezaji ambao utakuruhusu kuweka kidogo 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 kwa sababu unajua ukishanunua bond bond ukinunua umenunua haikubali unamletea kesho unamletea kesho kutona a a haikubali kwa hiyo kama hauna ile milioni tano, milioni kumi, kumna tano kwa sasa hivi unaweza kwenda kuweka kwa mfano kwenye faida fund au kwenye UTT kwa sababu pale hata ukiweka 10000 mchana 1015 jioni Coach mimi na safirigi naenda kikazi nikienda kikazi mkoani unakuta tumepiga mzigo mpaka saa 3 usiku bosi anasema a a hapa kuna ka overtime ukinikuta na shilingi 2000 yangu na tafuta hivi kigoma siaradibiwa kwa wapi nataka kwenda kuweka naenda kuweka ila na, naenda kupanga foreni kigoma kwa sababu sitaki ikae na mimi yani sitaki nitaila nitajikuta sio nimeona nini nimeona sio mafuta ya kupikia kigoma na uzo bei nitanunua ndio kwenye ndege nitaongezewa hela ya mzigo umeja nikienda Mwanza samaki mando ya samaki na kuja nao mzigo umeja kwa hiyo naenda kuweka hiyo yani kama nilikuwa sijaitegemea lakini imekuja nimefanya overtime seradibi kwa wapi naenda na ikaila yangu huyo natembea mbele kwa hiyo kwamba tutafute tu, tu, sehemu kwa sababu bado hatujapata hiyo lump sum tunakusanya lump sum twende kwenye bond basi weka mahali ambako inakuruhusu 10000 5000 kesho kutoka laki 20 kadri unavyopata usiseme sijui oh siwezi kuweka a tafuta ambaye inakuruhusu kwa mfano hizo nimesema faida fund na UTT lakini cha mwisho don't be too hard on yourself tunaelewa kuna kipindi mambo inaumana kinaumana <laughs> asa kikiumana please jielewa alafu jisamee jiambie tu it was not possible ni me i have done all i could haijawezekana leo kuweka akiba basi nitajaribu kesho kwa sababu uki, ukianza kujilaumu sana ukaona wewe uko mzuri na hela utazidi ku sink deep kwenye hiyo kitu na utajikuta kama unaondoa kabisa hiyo sitaki tena masuala ya financial goals sitaki mm. masuala ya financial goals sitaki mimi na issue siku inavyokuja na mwacha kwani ndege wanakulaga wapi of course ndege mungu anawaama lakini you have to wait sisi tumepewa akili kwa hiyo tujitahidi kwamba tujisamee tuelewe kwamba sio kila siku itakuwa sawa sio kila siku mm-hmm. itawezekana tukijisamea na tukijipa second chance tutakuwa tunashinda kuweka leo tunaweka kesho tunaweka kesho kutwa hivyo hivyo mm-hmm. kwa hiyo mimi nimemaliza coach <laughs> na shukuru sana sana naona watu wanasema haijatosha kabisa there's a lot of knowledge uh, there and i believe tukiendelea tukikamua hii mwaka and I'm, 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 i'm trying to look for a platform where i can sit down with achieve ni mm-hmm ni mvune kama mm. yani hatari. Kwa hiyo go to achieves page ana kila kitu ana YouTube page yeah. right? Mm. Achieve Finance Tanzania yeah. ana Instagram page hii mm. ambayo tumejoin nayo hapa na anatoa a lot of trainings mm. kama una una, una oh. group yenu mna kikoba chenu mm-hmm. na yani tuanze kule hata zile family meetings tuanze kuzifanya family meetings za kimaokoto zaidi mm. ambazo zinaweza zikatusaidia sisi kuweza kukua na mm. kusaidia familia zetu zikaza kwa because it's not only for you it's also for for other people and that is the purpose of this page and thank you so much achieve uh, for giving Fantastic. us this uh, opportunity na kushare na sisi ongeza mdatu
Siwezi kuongeza uh, tuweke ratiba tuvune madini ya ise. Ah uh, mna shida tutaongeza lakini <laughs> I have nina majukumu mengine na meetings mengine oh, okay. lakini tutaongeza uh, tuta schedule another maokoto Wednesday yeah. and ninavoka hapa nafikiria inawezekana ikawa next Wednesday mm. najua mm. uh, my my and, uh, my guy yuko hapa anasikiliza <laughs> at just that by next can i come next one is this so that we complete mm. you have something mm. uh, compact alafu uh, we'll have another maokoto wednesday at the end of the month but uh, possibly and uh, mm. um, next one is the tutaendelea na hapa tulipo share kwenye na achieve alafu tuta tuta build on that achieve in gear to dm sasa kwa kweli mambo ni mengi ai nimekuta huko All the best and thank Asante you so much coach. and thank you everyone bye. for joining. Thank you everyone for joining. Coach thank you so much. Sasa nazidi kuingia coach tunaondoka na watu wengine. I know I know I know. <laughs> Asante. Hi. Asante sana. Bye. Sure not to get big uh, thanks to coach Gloria and Finance Chief for the awesome Mokoto session. Thank you so much and have a good day. Karibisheni ndugu zenu waje kuangalia tutai save kwenye nani kwenye uh, feed so that they can come and watch and learn and as much as possible. Karibuni. Okay. And bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye. bye.